Hi, this is a demo for the AIO10 attenuating module. It is two and a half attenuators in two HP and it is passive, so it requires no power. It has one input there, which then it goes to an attenuating knob, and then my light is falling over, and then to a dedicated output. Um, this input is all then normal to this attenuating knob with this dedicated output. And then there's a, another set of attenuator here, uh, but this is normal to this input when nothing is plugged in. So with all knobs all the way up, it's kind of a one in, three out, um, or rather three out, multiple. Um, and otherwise it's two and a half uh, attenuators. So the reason I made this is that there's a ton of great modules out there that are amazing and I love them so much, but they don't have uh, dedicated attenuators on all of their inputs, uh, their CV inputs. Um, so for this example, and I'm not picking on it because I really do love it, is I'm using the E350. So if I take an AI03 looping envelope generator and I just go and plug that into the morph CV, uh, it's... Uh, there's a lot going on, and I might want something a little more subtle. So I'm going to plug that same control voltage signal into the attenuator. And then I'll just go ahead and use this output. Plug it through here. And now I have much more control over the voltage. And I can dial in that CV much more precisely, which is great. Now, there's another usage as well, which is as a kind of uh, negative scalar almost. So this module does have an attenuator for its frequency modulation input, which is really great. So I can take it and I can get subtle vibrato down there. It's actually not that subtle. Um, and then go into effect territory. Now, when I'm doing melodic work though, Really, I'm only looking for this smaller range of vibrato. Uh, so in a performance mode, that can be really tricky to add vibrato via that attenuator, just because with just a little bit of movement, I'm getting into space effect mode. So one thing you can do with a module like this is, again, plug it in there first. And by using an attenuator, an attenuator I'm going to essentially scale how much voltage can even get into this frequency modulation input so that when I have it here even quite a bit of movement on this knob is not giving me that much vibrato so in a performance environment I can feel much more comfortable exploring the depth of the rotation as far as adding vibrato goes so it also does that so there's a lot of uses for it. Um, attenuated control voltage is really important um, if you don't have uh, an attenuator uh, built into the module. And scaling is really nice too, especially for performance. Uh, so that's it. It's available now at AISynthesis.com and other fine retailers. Thanks for watching.